Hello, welcome back. This is Art and the Word, and I am your host, Nicole Georges Bennett, and I'm so happy to be back here and to have all of you join me again. It feels like it's been so long, right? <laughs> Since uh, we've had a new program, and I just want to thank you for being patient and for coming back and uh, just, you know, keeping the faith with me. I have been working on some new ideas that I'm very excited to share with you. I just want to say hi, first of all, to all of our folks at uh, the Lakeside Church, the TLC Arts and Skills class. I also want to say hi to all of our viewers at NECTN and also TVN TV and Life 101 Internet Television. Thank you guys for being with me and for everybody who's looking at me on Facebook and YouTube. Um, you know, I'm just so thrilled that uh, you're back here with me and I've got a whole new season of uh, wonderful art projects, arts and craft projects all planned for you. And yeah, it's it's been an interesting uh, couple of years, but now we seem to be kind of over the hump uh, pandemic wise. I know there's a, a lot of people and probably you too aren't, you know, wearing the mask and aren't socially distancing, but you know, just please be careful. Please um, take precautions, protect yourself and your family. Uh, do what you know is the right thing to do. We're not quite over this yet. So just, uh, you know, be careful, be cautious, be safe. So what have I been up to for the summer vacation? Well, I have been doing a lot of walking, trying to lose those uh, pandemic pounds. So I've been doing a lot of walking and discovering all kinds of arts projects across the city, arts exhibits across the city here in Toronto. And I'm going to be showing you a quick clip of one particular park, uh, which is uh, sort of uh, near the Lakeside Church in our area here in Port Union, and just fabulous art murals that were done by some local artists. So as uh, the show goes on, I'm going to be doing some more exploration and sharing with you some of the, the art discoveries that I'm making in our city. So um, I'm also going to tell you today about uh, the particular project that we're going to be working on, which will be a celebration of fall as we begin this new era and this new season. So we're going to be doing this really lovely fall tree, fall landscape, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. It is actually something that I saw um, uh, on a book cover in, um, I think it was an Indigo Chapter store. So, you know, I just hope that uh, the artist who did that or the graphic illustrator appreciates my take on that work. So we're going to be doing that fabulous fall color painting in just a few minutes. But first, I want to show you what I discovered at the park. And then we'll also be doing our devotional because, of course, what's the most important part of art and the word? The word. Yeah. So I want to make sure that we always keep our focus on the Lord, our focus on developing the talents that he has blessed us with, and um, just making sure that we hide his word in our hearts so that we can live the lives that he has called us to. And I really hope that, you know, even during the last few years that you've really been drawing closer to him. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus, I just want to encourage you to ask someone that you know who does or go to a church in your neighborhood and just say, you know, I'd like to learn more about who Jesus is. And I can guarantee you they're going to be thrilled to have the opportunity to share with you how wonderful it is to be a child of God. But um, yeah, so before we get back into our art project and launch our new season, I wanna show you what I found at the park. Check it out.
we're going to be reading from Psalms 25, and this is the NIV version. Psalm 25. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all the day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity, and their descendants will inherit the land. Verse 14. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant made known to them. Wasn't that great? I mean, there are so many talented people out there. Sometimes you might look at that and think, you know, I just can't, I, I can't imagine being able to produce something so wonderful or so artistic, or I don't feel like I've got, you know, those artistic genes. And I just want to tell you that everybody has something. God has given all of us talents. It's just up to us to grow them, develop them, and to practice. Practice makes perfect. So you may not be a Michelangelo or a Picasso, but you can be the best you, right, that God has made you to be. And if you feel that desire to do something artistic or to create, explore. There's so many different media out there that you can get into. Not everybody has to be an acrylic painter or a, a watercolor painter. You, your thing might be crafting, your thing might be knitting, embroidery, might be baking, might be cooking. So whatever it is that you feel passionate about and you feel that God has given you that particular desire to learn and to grow and develop it, just do that. Just, you know, find a class. These classes are free. Um, there's tons of people on YouTube doing all kinds of interesting and creative things. Find somebody who is working in the media that you most want to explore and that you would like to get to do and to do better or to do better and go for it. You know, if I can do it, so can you. So let us jump into our very first painting for the new season. Yeah. So I've got my cross here. Now, uh, even though I have used my cross as um, uh, an inspiration, I'm actually going to be using this as more of a, a ruler today, but I just wanted to kind of use it instead of just a regular ruler because it's a reminder to myself that why do I do this? I do this for the glory of God. So the cross is always a reminder to me of keeping my focus on why we do what we do. So what I'm going to do is um, just do my horizon line. I'm also going to be playing around with some new angles, trying some camera shots, trying to get you more fancy with our production qualities here. So don't be weirded out if you know we jump from like you know, a, a, a large uh, landscape to kind of like a close-up shot and things like that. It's just me trying to be fancy. So I've got the horizon line. What I'm going to do is just sketch out my tree shape. I feel like maybe my horizon line could be a little bit lower actually. So I'm
Okay. So I got myself uh, these this new um, box of paints, which I am just so happy and excited to be opening for the very first time. And it's almost like a box of jewelry. You know, I'm just I'm just so um, thrilled. <laughs> to be able to have these new paints and I just want to thank all of our sponsors NECTN and Life 101 uh, Internet Television and TDN TV as well thank you so much for being the sponsors of Art and the Word so I have these beautiful new acrylic paints uh, it says good coverage fast drying which of course is always welcome on this show and also non-toxic so if my dog Simba gets into that it shouldn't be that big a deal hopefully so we've got 48 acrylic paints in here so i'm just going to be opening them up for the very first time i'm going to show them to you i feel like the, uh, we need drum roll music here Ooh, look at these babies wow so I'm, i mean i'm even surprised by the range of colors here and this is just the That was just the first, the first layer. Some of you who are really good math are saying, yeah, because that first layer of there wasn't like 48. So look at these. My goodness, it's like every shade of every primary color that you would want is probably in here. At least in my opinion anyway. <laughs> so excited to be getting started with these. I am going to be using my trusty old, and I do mean old, styrofoam trays here as my palette. They have never failed me. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is our background colors. And uh, for that, I'm going to be using blue for the sky. More of a... I'm trying to think here. Not a very dark blue. So I'm going to try this kind of blue which is a cerulean blue so let's see how that works I'm going to go from dark to light then we're going to do some trees in the background and then we will work on our main tree here with a reflection so this is going to be sort of like a, a water water line and then we will have um, the reflection of our tree reflection of the sky and uh, hopefully you know just some sort of abstract colors working out here.
break here so I can tell you uh, about drying time. Now, what I mean is drying time is allowing enough time between layers, right? As you're painting and you do one section, then you need to let it dry in some cases. In some, uh, it depends on the project that you're working on, but in most cases when you're dealing with acrylics, if you are layering color on top of color, you're gonna want to allow time for the first layer of paint that you apply to dry. And then, after it's dried for a little bit, then you put on your next color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some foliage to some of these trees. Now most of our tree is going to cover that over so we're not going to make um, you know, a very quick production of trying to do leaves and all of that. We just want to show a hint of foliage but as I said this is going to be a rather large tree. It's going to take up most of our canvas so I'm just going to grab some bits of brown and some bits of green. Just kind of dab and indicate foliage on our trees. I'm going to add a bit of uh, brown to this green for this side because I'm going to try to indicate that we've got, even though the, the light is probably coming more from overhead but I just thought I would make these trees a little bit lighter just to kind of indicate that we do have a light source. So this part is dry. So now we're ready for the fun part, <laughs> which is when we start laying in uh, the main colors on our tree. So this we are also going to do one layer dry, one layer dry, and so forth. So of course this will be uh, speeded up so that you don't have to endure actually watching paint dry. So I'm going to be using a round-headed brush, hope you can see that clearly. I'm going to start with my big one and then I'm going to switch to a smaller one when I come to do some more highlights. So I think um, I'm going to start with uh, a dark shade of red here and I'm just going to work my way through the reds. It's a beautiful shade of red. This one's called Crimson Red. So what we want is dab, 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 dab. You want to kind of figure out like just how big your tree is gonna be. Mine is gonna be a, it's gonna be a big tree, and like I said, it's gonna take over most of. Painting is gonna be sort of a mushroom shape, I guess. Okay. So there, I've got the sort of the shape of the tree.
So that's all the time that we have for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry because as I told you, dry time between your layers is key. And uh, then I'll show you uh, the finished product. I hope that you like it. Thank you so much for joining me on Art and the Word. I do hope you enjoyed our fall paint as we begin a new season. And uh, you feel inspired to pick up your paintbrush and your canvas once more. And if you haven't tried it before, please go ahead. You can pick them, uh, pick up the tools that you need very cheaply, like at uh, your local dollar store or Dollarama or, um, or Michael's or any other craft store that's near you. You don't have to start off with a big expense. You can just start off with one set of paint brushes, one can a couple of canvases, and some inexpensive paints, and you too can get started. And pray for inspiration. Ask the Holy Spirit to you know, plant ideas into your heart and into your mind and allow him to use that creativity that is already innate in you to be birthed so that you too can produce something that gives glory to God and brings you joy and maybe brings joy to, uh, you know, your friends and your family. So thank you so much for joining me on Art and the Word. I'm Nicole Georges Bennett and I will see you next time. God bless. And here's what the finished um, autumn tree looks like.